attempted to survive. Kareem Courtney faces nine criminal counts, including possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. We have sad news to report. Longtime Maryland Congresswoman and maritime expert Helen Bentley has died at the age of 92. Mrs. Bentley passed away today at her home in Timonium, where she was receiving hospice care. Denise Koch has reaction from some who knew her best and her long list of accomplishments. I like to get things done, and I think I have a reputation for doing that. Let's get right at it. Let's do the job. Helen Bentley was a woman ahead of her time, a true trailblazer. Over 70 years ago, she became the country's first and only female maritime reporter when she was hired by the Baltimore Sun. She created, produced her own show about the port of Baltimore, the port that built the city and state. Her legend extended to Capitol Hill, and in 1969, President Nixon appointed her chairman of the Federal Maritime Commission, the first and only woman to hold that position. In 1984, she took on and beat legendary Congressman Clarence Long to become the first woman from Baltimore County elected to the House of Representatives. She was a tough-talking lady. That's why we got along so well. We were no nonsense either the way we talked with each other or talked about it. They even nicknamed us the salt and pepper of the Maryland delegation. Helen left her congressional seat to make a failed run for governor. She later ran a very tight race against Dutch Ruppersberger for a redistricted second congressional district. She lost, but in or out of office, she never stopped working for the maritime industry. She broke lots of glass ceilings, and I was very, very proud uh, one night during my uh, tenure as governor to rename the Port of Baltimore in her honor. It was a big surprise and a very proud moment. And when I see a sign with my name on it, I go... <laughs> the last time I spoke with Helen was in July. Frail, but full of spirit. People think of you as tough, as irascible. I am. I was. I still am. You betcha. Look at your hair. Now to be forever remembered for all she accomplished in her good, long life. We will remember that Helen, looking out over the port of Baltimore, she was the lady who launched a thousand ships. Funeral services are private.